said, I just asked. Okay. All right. I just thought I'd let you know before you no. appreciate it. Okay.
Our opening hymn number 452-452. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning, our soul shall rise to thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in persons, blessed Trinity. Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-loving God, who adorn the sacred body of your church with the confession of holy martyrs, grant, we pray, that just as the glorious passion of St. Ignatius of Antioch, which we celebrate today, brought him eternal splendor, so it may be for us unending protection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins, in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now, I'm sorry, now at the work in the disobedient. Can somebody read for me? I lost my dog. I can't concentrate. I'm sorry. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you once lived following the age of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the disobedient. All of us lived among them in the desires of our flesh, following the wishes of the flesh and the impulses, and we were by nature children of wrath like the rest. But God, who is rich in mercy, because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the immersible riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Jesus Christ. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from you, It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. The Lord made us, we belong to him. 
Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are, his people, the flock he tends. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. The Lord made us, we belong to him. Give thanks to him, bless his name, for he is good. The Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations, <clears throat> we belong to him. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator. Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, One's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, what shall I do? For I do not have space to store my harvest. And he said, this is what I shall do. I shall tear down my bands and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods. And I shall say to myself, now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they be belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasures for himself, but is not but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. In today's Gospel, we find a beautiful parable, the parable of the rich man. This rich man was a successful businessman. He made a good cultivation and he received a good harvest and his all effort gave him a good result. And he was so happy and he considered his life for many years will be joyful. And um, there is nothing wrong with that but Jesus called this man fool, rich fool because he had an unbalanced wealth. He stored up treasures here on earth, but he forgot what matters to God. So he had an unbalanced wealth. He forgot to do what is the basic thing. But that does not mean that he has to sell everything and become a hermit, but he has to do at least practice the cardinal virtues, that is fasting, prayer, repentance, and almsgiving. So he forgot, he failed to store or he forgot to do all these cardinal virtues, at least for sharing. And one has to share what he has, maybe our knowledge or uh, any possessions, anything that we have, especially our um, wisdom, knowledge, or possessions, whatever we have. We have to share and store up things in heaven because we have heard in the psalm we have heard in the psalm that we belong to God. So the Lord made us and we belong to him. So we have to store up treasures in God, in heaven because we belong to God and we cannot just ignore our soul. So the readings of the day reminds us to have in our busy schedule a good treasure in heaven.
please stand. Confident in the mercy of our God, who sent his son to save us even while we were yet sinners, let us bring our prayers and petitions before him. For all members of the church, may the wisdom of the Lord continue to guide our every action. Let us pray to the Lord. For those responsible for public policy, may God guide them in enacting laws that uphold the eternal law of truth given in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, may God provide for their material needs and give them peace, comfort, and rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs of this community, may God tame the desires of our hearts for worldly things and increase our desire for him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died marked with the sign of faith, may God grant them eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today's mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Therese Falkenhan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the prayer of those who cry to you benefit the souls of your servants, O Lord. Free them, we pray, from all their sins and make them sharers in your redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation and our homage pleasing to you, O Lord, just as you accepted St. Ignatius, the wheat of Christ, made pure the blood through his martyrdom and passion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
bless these they who comes in the name of the lord hosanna <coughs> you are indeed holy o lord the founder of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the francis our pope and ronald our bishop and all the clergy remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that the blessed virgin mary mother of god <coughs> with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to be eternal life. I may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. May the heavenly bread we have received, O Lord, on the feast day of St. Ignatius, renew us, we pray, and make us Christians in name and in deed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena to St. John Paul II. Today is the fifth day. Most holy servant of God, Pope St. John Paul II, we pray today for our parish dedicated under your patronage. 
we ask you to grant us your blessings from heaven god gave you the grace fatherly tenderness and the spirit of his love from which we all learn you are a witness of jesus christ for the whole world you lit the world on fire with your passion for christ and the church trusting in god's infinite mercy and in the intercession of mary you have shown us the path to reach eternal communion with god most to holy saint john paul ii we ask that you pray for us so that by your good example we may bear witness to god's divine mercy saint john paul ii we know that you are a powerful and resourceful because of your great example of how to live the faith grant us through your intercession the grace also happily glorify god in our lives hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and the son and the holy spirit yes now and we shall be world without end the lord be with you may almighty god bless you father son and the holy spirit the message sent that go in peace to love and serve the lord make you let mary your praises we sing you reign now with splendor with jesus our king ave 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 maria ave ave maria saint michael the archangel